All right, some other kind of experimentations that I'm doing with this uh, hyd um, hydrogen peroxide. All right, so um, I'm having some good results, really. Um, a lot of the seeds are making it. Um, I'm just starting to do some uh, rooting now um, with the hydrogen peroxide. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a um, cut piece off of a um, sweet potato. Now, I am noticing that the, uh, just like I guess on skin, the hydrogen peroxide does have a tendency to cause some burnage on some, and so, but it's not, it's, it doesn't kill it. Um, and it really, it bounces back really quick if you just give it regular water. Um, or just kind of go around it. When I spray this, I spray the bottom of it, the base of it. And as you can see, we've got some root growth already uh, starting to grow up. I just keep it like that. I wasn't having good results putting it down like that. So I put it up there. And now my uh, uh, top of the uh, pineapple. I have not had one of these grow yet. Um, just sticking it in dirt. And so now we're getting good. Um, I, I uh, had it for the longest time uh, just over the heating mat, uh, but it was drying out too much. But it was a good thing that the base of it dried out. And so um, is looking really good right now and I think it's gonna make it um, the way that I'm doing it like this and as you can start seeing it's starting to put some it's gonna hopefully put some roots out just seems like the uh, hydrogen peroxide um, allows it to uh, be kept free of um, mold and mildew and stuff like that. I'm getting, uh, I've gotten seeds uh, sprout uh, from uh, cranberries. Um, although I did notice that those did take a little bit of uh, um, a hit from constantly spraying it. Um, and so I switched over to some water on that. And <clears throat> and also, um, what else? Uh, some of those um, gardenias. Uh, a lot of the gardenias out here uh, put out seeds, and they're doing really good. I want to do some roses this way and um, get some. See if we can get some good results with that.